Welcome back everyone. It's been a little while. We've had school holidays here, so I've had grandkids staying and my mother's been staying with us for a little while. So it's been quite nice. However, it hasn't allowed me to do as much as I would normally do. Anyway, not to worry. I did some more testing with the electronic speed controller and the hub motor. Found a couple of issues. Um, on the surface it worked really well. However, I had commutation sequence wrong for reverse and uh, in fixing that I also had a little bit of a mishap and I think I've blown one of the MOSFETs and possibly one of the drivers as well just with the dodgy setup I had on the lab. So based on the fact that the circuits seem to work really really well I've decided to build out the circuit board. There are a couple of challenges designing the circuit board so I've made a couple of changes so I just wanted to run over those now but the boards have been ordered, components I'm trying to order. I'm having some troubles getting the components shipped with the circuit board, which the people at uh, LCSC are sorting out for me at the moment, but hoping to see all this stuff before next weekend. So be getting stuck into it next weekend. We'll be doing a couple more videos through the week, hoping to touch on the changes I made to the commutation sequence but anyway, let's have a look at it now. I thought I'd take the time just to run back over the design since I made the earlier videos. Uh, so just looking at the I.O. devices, the first thing we have is the MPU 6050. There won't be too many changes there, or there won't be any changes there. Uh, we've got the battery monitoring, which is just straight across the full battery pack and giving a feed to the A to D. We've got the Hall effect sensors. Again, there won't be too many changes there left a programming header on the board so that we can change the program in the blue pill if required. Got a pressure sensor input. This is designed to detect whether there's a rider on the actual board. There'll actually be two pads, a front and a back pad to stand on and it won't be enabled without both of those being active, but thinking that they'll just be wired in serial to that one input got two outputs that are feeding some lead indicators just to give an indication of the status and the alarm output also uh, uses this MOSFET to uh, drive a sounder. Two other outputs for front and rear lights and that's pretty much the I.O. If we have a look at the power stage now using two buck converters to generate the 12 volt supply and the 3.3 volt supply. If we have a look at the actual uh, motor drive using IR2101s to drive the MOSFET power stage and this is a simple uh, triple half bridge design to control the brushless DC motor so nothing new here since the last time I talked about this I don't believe and down here this I may not have covered up in this before I'm using a solid state device to actually detect the drive current now this device is capable of monitoring 100 amps we won't be using anywhere near that amount and there, are, there is actually a device a 50 amp device which may be more suitable but I've gone with this one as a starting point anyway so that's the power stage now the CPU this is obviously quite new I had all sorts of trouble getting the design completed such that the board would actually fit the space that I've allowed for it and that was probably due to a combination of factors but I was using uh, the surface mount STM32 and I was using uh, a number of other through hole components rather than surface mount because it was just easier for me to deal with. 
I've taken a step back and had a good think about this and what I'm going to do is just utilize the blue pill itself just as a plug-in so all of the difficult stuff for me to handle in the surface mount componentry is mounted on the blue pill and it'll simply be plugged into the circuit board I've also added a couple of headers on either side here just to bring out any unused IO so that if need be the IO is available to use for additional inputs or outputs or anything like that and you know I guess there may be a version 3 of this board that will contain that if required if not then this will be the completed board okay well that's a bit of a run through of the latest design if we take a look at the actual circuit board now well I've ordered them so they're being manufactured shortly and should have them within the week the battery voltage comes in here we've got the two uh, buck converter circuits here and here 12 volts 3.3 volts all of the uh, MOSFET drivers along the top of the board here so we can get them bolted onto a heatsink nice and easily uh, driver circuitry here uh, this would be the battery voltage monitoring I guessing though the headers I sort of talked about blue pill programming header I'm not too sure what these two are for <laughs> obviously IO motor drive here's the current monitoring device uh, here the Hall effect sensors wired onto here the MOSFET outputs here for the alarm and the front and rear lights and uh, the MPU here so it's sort of separated from the drivers as much as I possibly could on this circuit board I guess so anyway um, as I say that's been ordered and it's on its well it'll be on its way shortly I hope and I've ordered the additional components needed to complete this so expecting to be putting this together next weekend I'm going to do a couple of other videos through the week just looking at a few different things but certainly as soon as I receive this I'll be jumping straight back onto it okay I guess the only other thing that I wanted to add I have done a little bit more work on the code for the ESC control in the last video I posted you would have noticed that the ESC is certainly working well it was certainly working in forward there was an issue in reverse and I had some of the commutation sequence wrong there and I worked on that for a little while and made some changes and you saw how dodgy my test rig was in the lab and ended up um, destroying a driver and I think probably a MOSFET as well so hence why I'm actually building out the board now the circuitry is fine and everything like that I've got a little bit of code work to do but I'll do that on this new board okay well that's it for this video cheers for now if you like what i'm doing then please do like the video if you'd like to see more then please subscribe and don't forget to hit the chime so you get notified when i post something new and i'll put a couple of links here to some other videos you can look at